Hello friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, I just wanted to cover an important topic of how you can integrate your application with Generative AI. So when it comes to Generative AI, what all we know, there are major two categories, right? One, if you are a data scientist where you can create the model by using the Python language or any other languages, and that model will be used or trained by different people. Right? So these two are the two different categories of generative AI users. One who are developing it and another who are going to use it. So in this video, I'm going to focus on the second category. Who are all the users of generative AI and how you can integrate your legacy application with generative AI so that you can reap the benefit of generative AI. Okay? So I have put together a couple of charts to go over. And after going through the chart, I just wanted to showcase you how you can do this by your own with simple steps with the help of IBM Watson X.A. Okay, let's get into the action. So what I did here, I just put together a couple of charts to explain about how you can integrate your application, whatever it may be, it's whether it's a legacy application or modern application with generative AI. And uh, also I'm going to walk through the hands-on demo how you can do by yourself. So these are all the key words that you must remember before getting into the action. First one is generative AI. So all you know that generative AI is a, a part of artificial intelligence where you can get uh, different types of output when you do the input. The output may be of text, image, or audio or video format. And LLM is large language model. There is a general purpose language model that will be used for generating different types of texts. And it can be used for the summary, classification, and Q&A. And prompt engineering is the process of writing, refining, and optimizing your gener uh, generative AI models, right? And the prompt lab is the playground where you can pick a model and prompt the model, tune the model, train the model, etc. You can do it. And uh, AI inferencing, what exactly AI inferencing? AI inferencing is using the live data into your model so that the model uses the live data and produce the unique output. And tokens, uh, tokens is nothing but when you train or prompt your model, there are some certain limitations that you can control with the help of the tokens. You will see in detail when you do the hands-on. And uh, greedy decoding, what is greedy decoding? Normally when it comes to generative AI, decoding means just getting the output. So greedy decoding means the generative AI model that gives the 100% accurate output all the time. That is called 3D decoding, okay? And this is the simple architecture that I put together and uh, we are going to implement this as a project and see how you can easily integrate your application with generative AI and reap the complete benefit of the generative AI, okay? So if you look at this diagram, the leftmost section, you can see the user. The user is the one who uses the application. It may be your uh, legacy application or your modern application, whatever it may be. And uh, in your application, if your application is a website application where you can uh, give the uh, chatbot to your customer to help your customer out on basic questions, all those steps, you may have this type of simple uh, chatbot in your website. And we are going to use Prompt Lab. This Prompt Lab is provided by IBM WatsonX.ai. This Prompt Lab has the list of the models uh, readily available for you to pick and play around and pick the right model for your application to connect with or integrate with. And, and if you look at this, the model um, library has a list of models that has the integration with Prompt Lab. So Prompt Lab has this list of libraries available list of models available for you to pick and use. And once after picking the right model for you to integrate with your application, you know how to integrate. So there are certain uh, norms to go with the integration. And first one is you have to integrate with your um, application with the help of this open A standard, open API standard. And also you must need the API key and project ID to integrate with your application. And these are all the basic environment setup that you need. You must have a, an IBM cloud account. You can create one for free. And also you can um, create Watson, uh, Watson X Assistant instance. And you can create Watson X sandbox project to play around with generative AI. Okay.
and uh, the main next thing is prompt engineering so once after creating your watson x um, project sandbox project you will be provisioned with the prompt lab where you can go and explore different uh, types of models available and pick the model play around and uh, use the model rightly for your application and also you will have the model parameter configurations and model library to see list of uh, foundation model available for you to pick and this is the crucial part where you will be integrating your application with generative ai and there are certain steps that i have listed here first one you have to obtain the open api definition for integrating the generative ai model here what's next start ai with your application so the application what we picked here is a chatbot application that was created using what's next assistant and you need to create a api key um, because uh, you are going to call this uh, generative ai model as a rest api so you need api key you will create api key and integrate with the generative ai model and you need to create your project id uh, to uniquely identify the project and also you can create a custom extension in the watson x assistant chatbot application that custom extension has the details about how you can connect with the generative ai and establish a connection between your application and the generative ai model and reap the benefit of generative ai model for your application and also you can create the actions so basically actions here is if you are um, creating a chatbot application you must need to provide the actions to the customers to interact with right so those actions can be easily created without any uh, coding knowledge you can just do a no code low code approach and create all the actions and finally you can test your integration so these are all the key steps first you are going to use the prompt lab as a playground to pick and choose your model right model and uh, search analyze pick the right model that is going to serve better for your application and here you are not training or tuning the model all you need to do is just pick the trained model which were trained with millions of curated data and the main thing is you need to obtain open api standard configuration basically this is a json file and that json file has the url to connect to the generative ai model here in case our uh, ibm watson x ai model and the uh, thing is like you have to create api key for calling your uh, generative api and uh, finally you pick your application that needs to be integrated with uh, this generative ai and create a project id to uniquely identify and um, integrate with your uh, chatbot application or whatever application that you want to integrate to generative ai and test it out and what are all the key takeaways that you are going to take after this um, demo you can see how to integrate your application irrespective of what the application is whether it is a chatbot application or e-commerce application whatever it may be and you will know how to integrate with uh, ibm's powerful watchnext.ai generative ai model and uh, you also learn how to create an app without uh, any coding and also you will learn about uh, how to create an integration between your legacy application or modern application with uh, generative ai with a no code approach and you will have the prompt lab experience how you can play around with the model in the prompt lab how do you give the input and how do you see the output how what is the parameter that you can use how do you limit the uh, model to respond with the limited parameter and all these model exploration and library details you will get into this uh, uh, experiment as a take away and i have given the references here i will share this chart at the end of the video you can download it from uh, a location use it experiment it and get a real time experience of how you can integrate your application with generative ai all right let's get into the action i have opened three tabs one this is your watson x assistant tab where when you create or sign up with ibm cloud you can get into this place to create a watson assistant watson assistant so what i did i named watson assistant as aic bot so here if you go to um actions you can create a new action and i had created a new action that named aic bot 
So this is our bot. I created this bot as a web application. That web application has the integration of this chat bot to assist the customer. I'm going to assume this AAC bot as a travel app bot. So if you are going into the travel site and uh, asking the question like, uh, uh, what is the best way to reach one particular country and what type of information that you need to know about the country before traveling. So that type of uh, application I'm talking about here. And uh, you can see a lot of videos. Uh, if you look at this uh, page, you can see how to create uh, the What's Next Assistant and uh, what are all the ways to explore um, the features of the uh, What's Next Assistant and you can create actions, how to create the action. All these details are created with the video. You can just go and uh, watch the video and create, create by your own. You don't need to depend on any uh, developer to create this uh, chatbot application, okay? And uh, the second tab, I have um, logged in with my IBM Cloud credentials to this Watson X platform. So when you log into the Watson X platform, it will ask you to create a project. So if you go here, you can view all the projects. And if you want to create a new project, you can create, and there are certain steps to follow. You can go and explore it. And I have created this project. And when you click on this project, you can see how you can do a third party integration and uh, all the connection details, you can create connection details. If you go to the general tab and come to manage, it will give you the project ID. This is a unique project ID you would be using to uh, connect with uh, your application and also access control, environment details, and how you can uh, uh, see the resource utilization. You look at that, uh, this A model, I have used almost uh, 5,464 tokens and service integration details, all those things are there in the Watson X. So basically this is the uh, generating A model lab provided by IBM. It's called WatsonX.A, okay? So, um, Let's get into the sandbox and see what and all we can do. So I'm going here home. And if you look at this what's next start a lab or what's next start a platform, you can see the options. I'm going to pick this experiment with foundation models because I'm going to integrate my chatbot application with this foundation model. So if you look at this, um, it will give you three types of options to play around with your foundation model. So, for example, if you look at this uh, top rightmost corner, it by default picked the Llama 2 foundation model. So, you can always change different types of foundation model and test it around. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, pick this plan T5 model and then if you want to test it in different ways, like if you want to make it as a chatbot testing or you want to do a structured testing or you want to do a free form testing, you can pick whichever is convenient for you. Here in this case, I'm just picking a uh, free form testing and I'm going to ask, um, I want to travel to a country. I'm going to ask this one to this model. So it is uh, giving the generic information about uh, what are all the things that you need to travel to country. If it is uh, Japan, what are all the things that you need to do? If it is Thailand, what are all the things that you need to do? I'm going to stop with this here. And uh, I'm going to ask a different question here. What is the best way to travel to India? It, it by default it just asks from where you want to do you want to fly and it is giving the options like you know the flight train road all those stuffs. So how this is being generated based on the input this model Llama two model got your input and started producing the output. So if you look at this uh, I can go and tune the model parameter by default it took nine hundred tokens and I can limit the token to let's say like fifty. So I have limited the token to 50. 
and I'm going to ask the same question to this Lama 2 model. So, so it didn't give more details, it gave just limited details because we limited the tokens to 50. So similarly, if you want to integrate this with a particular uh, chatbot application, you want to limit the number of characters, you can play around with the tokens. And also, if you go to the code, you can see the code generated uh, for this model. So you can use this as a risk service to integrate with your application. And another option is, if you look at this uh, view foundation models, and you can see list of foundation models available in the model library. So you can pick any of this model and then use that model to integrate with your application. See, in our case, uh, we took this Lama 2 and integrated. So next thing is integration part. For that, you need API key, right? So to integrate it, you may need to go back to your chatbot application, right? So if you look at the chatbot application preview, you can clearly understand how we built it. So we created the action with no code approach. I didn't write any code. I created just this chatbot with the actions. And you remember that I mentioned the chatbot name is AAC bot. So if you click on the AAC bot, it will start asking the action details, whatever we provided. For now, I'm going back to uh, the actions. And also, I just wanted to show you the integration, how the integration works. So this is uh, the Watson X Assistant platform where you can create action and you create the custom integration to talk to the generative AI. So what I did, I came to the integrations and clicked on build custom extension. I have already created this uh, custom extension here. If you want to start from the beginning, you can start and doing this. So all it will ask is just to give the basic information and also it will ask you to import open api uh, we talked about this open api because this is the key integrating factor where you can get this open api standard for integrating your application with uh, ibm watsonx.ai here is the link i will share this link you can download this json file and uh, upload it here when you create an integration with the the what's next right and i have done this step and i created this integration if you open and see you can see the details of the integration that i created the i gave the api key i gave uh, the header prefix and server information and also you can see the extension how it will look like what are all the information available here all those things you can see here okay so I'm just closing this out and coming back to our integration. So this is the way that you integrate your Watson X Assistant. That is nothing but your chatbot application with your generative AI model. Here generative AI model, what we discussed was the Lama model, foundation model that was provided by IBM in the IBM um, foundation model library, all right? So now what we did, we created this chatbot application. You saw the preview, how the chatbot application looks like. And it is part of the sample website. You can make it as a WhatsApp application. You can make it as a app standalone. You can make, make it as part of a website. I just chose the option of uh, integrating with the website. So we got that uh, um, chatbot setup and we created the integration and we gave the information about our uh, foundation model that what we, we are going to integrate with. And we got the, the open API standard to get that integration done with Watson's Assistant Chatbot application. So now let's go and test it out. Uh, before going to test that out, I want to show what are all the actions that I created, right? So these are all the actions that I created. So first specify the country. So what I'm asking this chatbot to do, when the customer comes to my site, travel site, the customer must enter the 
country name what country you want to travel to right so specify the country i'm going to ask uh, what country you want to uh, travel to right and second action in continuation to that i want to ask about the information about the country and once the customer talks about or give the information about the country i'm going to ask i'm going to give the information about the country and also i'm going to ask more information would you like to get more information about the country right so you can keep building these actions according to your um, business need suppose if you are building a e-commerce application chatbot you can change this uh, sequence of action with different uh, parameters and keep going right so once after building this all i can do is i can go and preview how this look like so this is looking like this and uh, let me reset it so this is the action that we created uh, since i input the details like what country you would like to travel to because this is a travel application in chatbot and it is asking me to enter the country so i'm going to enter india as the country that i would like to travel to and immediately it asks like would you like information on india so i'm saying yes, absolutely i want to know more about india so it is giving based on the answer yes it is giving would you like more information specify country that specific to interest and i will say yes and please list out your interest so i am going to say as taj mahal so this information will keep going so what will happen once after sending this information the chatbot application will connect to this llama here in our case we took llama as the foundation model to integrate with and it will keep generating the output accordingly okay so this is how you can integrate your legacy application or modern application with the generative ai model this is very simple all you need to do is to get into the ibm watson x art ai the generative ai uh, lab and play around with the model lab and pick the right model and get the basic information for integrating with your application and integrate it and test it out so hope you can see this video as a very useful video i believe so because uh, the information whatever ibm uh, lab provided is very very clear you can go and play around and create your own experience of connecting your legacy application with uh, generative ai or like modern application with generative ai and get hands on this is how your generative ai journey must start and uh, there are plenty of uh, uh, materials resources available and provided by ibm and you can go and explore easily learn generative ai and if you like this video give a thumbs up and share it to your friends so that they will also get benefit out of it and enjoy your day take care bye